Aloha. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. I'm happy to be with you today. It is a Thursday, final day of the week that I do these live streams, Monday through Thursday. And today is the 14th of December, 2017. <clears throat> it seems very soon we're going to be saying 2018. That is a very surprising statement. Honestly, back in 2012 was going on, wasn't so sure how much longer we would be here. Um, but I'm happy to see that as a, as a human race, we're still definitely moving forward and that we're still definitely moving onward and upward. Uh, hence the value of these videos, because a lot of people are waking up and they're realizing that, that life could and should be quite a bit better than it is, that there's a lot more to life than just go to work, come home, walk the dog, eat, watch the favorite TV show, go back to sleep, and get up, and repeat. <clears throat> this is what people have been doing uh, for quite a while. And those that are waking up are obviously tired of it. And so um, social media has been a, a wonderful thing in many ways. It allows a lot of information and disinformation to be put out there. So we really have to discern the quality of the information with our heart and not with our mind, not with our head. And so one of the greatest values of the 10 Da's, which is what I'm focusing on today, is that it helps us to discern with our heart and not with our head. Because in order to do that, we have to release the blockages. We have to release those things that uh, take over our mind and close our heart. And so my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, who has written these books behind me here, over 20 books, uh, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers, has uh, developed a, a repeatable pathway to awaken the soul, to awaken our heart, to align to our soul's desires and intentions. It's something that the vast majority of us have desired, but don't necessarily have a stepping stone walkway to that path. And that's why I chose to start uh, paying attention to this teacher, Master Shah. It's why I share and teach his wisdom. <clears throat> it's why I've become a master teacher under the Tao Institute as a certified master teacher. And it's, it's something that I believe in. It's something that I can put my head on the pillow at night and feel very good about any message that I deliver because I know it will have a positive impact on somebody's life. And so I thank you for coming. I thank you for joining. Uh, I know that your day is quite busy, for, so just to be with me for this hour is obviously uh, not an easy thing. If you would like to stay, <coughs> you know I cleared my throat before I started today, not an issue. But in clearing my throat, uh, when I start the live streams, obviously additional purification is going to occur. So please forgive me, I will do my best. And so. Um, the, the ability to awaken is equal to the ability of going inside. And it's very difficult to go inside. It's very difficult to align to the source, to our God, to the Creator, if we do not uh, release all that is inhibiting us from going inside. So I hope that you join us today. Today is the 10 Da's, for, day four of the 10 days of the 10 Da's. And today is Da Guan Ming, which means the greatest light, Da Guan Ming. Now, day one was Da Ai, the greatest love. And da Quan Shu was what I talked about on day two, the greatest forgiveness. Day three yesterday was the greatest compassion, and it's called Da Tzu Bei. Today is Da Guang Ming, which means the greatest light. These are Mandarin Chinese words and, uh, and English, of course. But the reason uh, we call them the Ten Da is because that means the greatest. Da means greatest. And Master Shah is a servant to humanity. And he does work to serve our beloved Creator. <clears throat> and part of that is to bring messages of love and peace and harmony to humanity. And so that's where these books and other pieces of information come from. And that's where the Ten Da's come from in order to carry a humanity into this age of love and light we must 
release the blockages that are inhibiting us. And so the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion are three very important qualities that when activated in our thoughts and our words and our actions can create great light, which is the fourth of the ten das. So I'm going to stop for a moment and acknowledge all those that have joined us. Uh, aloha and welcome Pamela Carmo. Welcome Lisa uh, Zarniak and welcome Catherine. <coughs> aloha Vanessa and welcome also Shauna Sugg. Welcome Magdalena and aloha Gike Ravi. Welcome also Diana Victoria. <coughs> Thank you Kristen Rojas. Uh, guys keep an eye on Kristen Rojas's posts if you're new. Uh, she posts a lot of the things on my behalf. She's an amazing universal servant. And so I'll refer to her posts once in a while. Welcome also Vanessa and M.A. Drade. Welcome to Django. Aloha Carol Frederico. Aloha Angela. And aloha Erica. And welcome uh, Monica. Uh, welcome also to Ferdy Cruz and Kathy Arnold. Welcome Jessica Smiley. Beryl, Beryl Wilson, aloha. <coughs> and Don, good to see you here, Don. Welcome Kate and Nicole, Griselda, and aloha, Joy Holm. Welcome also to Jessica Christine. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. So yesterday we had quite a bit of visibility and interest in the subject, Da Tsebe, the greatest compassion. <coughs> I don't know if some, some of you may be new or just tuning in for the first time. So if you miss those, please uh, go to my timeline on my Facebook page. If you're not already a Facebook friend, ask to be one. Subscribe so you know when I go live. And then go back and look at those last three. Because the ten Da's are individual. If you just practiced any one of those ten greatest qualities in your life, the, your entire life would be much better. But to incorporate two or three or five or six or seven of them, wow, what a huge difference it would make in your and the people's around you's life. I've worked with many students that have put forth the practices of love and peace and harmony, forgiveness, and other practices that Master Shah <clears throat> brings to humanity in a unique manner through his books. And uh, I've had nothing but positive reviews uh, from the information that's been put into place. So, as always, let us open today's uh, wisdom, practice, and blessings with a connection. So let us place our hands together in the soul light, soul service hand positions, just like a prayer. Simply drop the left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. <clears throat> and let us close our eyes, and I will invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all masters and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels and archangels, dear our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, Kuan Yin, Namo Amitofu, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to each and every one of you. I ask your presence at this time to come to sit in each and every one of our heart centers, to bless us to further develop and awaken our comprehension and understanding of the ten das. Please develop, help us to develop the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, and the greatest light. Please help us develop the other of the ten das. Greatest humility, greatest harmony, the greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude, greatest service, and the greatest enlightenment. <coughs> I ask this heaven, only as appropriate. We're extremely grateful for any opportunity that we have to be in your light. And we thank you for all that you have done for us individually and collectively. We truly cannot bow down to you enough for all that you do to protect us, to save our lives, to guide us, and to serve us. We're extremely grateful. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, we honor you, we deeply appreciate you. We invite all souls and all universes to chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony so that we can serve unconditionally. We're extremely grateful. So for any new souls just tuning in today, uh, as part of this 
over one year of spiritual practice, we chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. It connects us heart to soul and helps create a circle of love. And it is a blessing. You may make a request at this time silently. And the rest of us, you can also make a request and choose to join in and chant. <coughs> Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, 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 Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Why,我心儿灵，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美，我爱春人美
<clears throat> the times we have said unpleasant things to others, the times we have thought or felt unpleasant things, the times that we or our ancestors made mistakes that were not in alignment with love. Those literally are like clouds that cover our innate light. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this innate light is something that we all have. And it's simply a matter of releasing it more and more each and every day. So I chose that picture on today's post because it represented what is truly inside. We all have an inner Jesus. We all have an inner Buddha. The only difference between those beautiful souls and us is that they, uh, they got it. They served unconditionally. They offered their love unconditionally. They offered their 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 compassion unconditionally they offered their greatest gratitude to the divine creator they took no credit whatsoever for any of the miracles that happened they were free of ego greatest humility which is the next da i teach on mondays they were free of the need to be in control they brought the greatest harmony through their thoughts words and actions and so when we employ the ten das we are naturally emanating the greatest light. So let's see what my teacher Master Shaw has to say. This is Master Shaw for those that are just tuning in. He's the Asian gentleman here. And I point it out every day when I come to this book because this is the first book Master Shaw revealed, Seven of the Ten Das. It's called Soul Over Matter. And for those that are new, this book is the next step <clears throat> beyond mind over matter. The basic teaching is when you transform things at the level of soul, and then everything that follows the soul, which is the, the heart, the mind, the energy, and the matter, basically life. So the soul is first, life is second. When you transform things at the level of soul, then everything in your life has to transform to match the change that happened at the level of soul. Therefore, soul over matter is a much higher consciousness and a much higher area to, uh, to manifest what we wish in our lives, far greater than soul over matter or, mi or mind over matter. So this book was written, uh, co-written, with this gentleman here. His name is Adam Markell, and he is a guru of mind over matter. He is 100,000 people follow this man, and, and many of them are millionaires. <clears throat> but when Master Shah ran across this gentleman at a uh, convention, uh, they didn't know each other. They just ran across each other right there, and um, uh, they started talking, and this gentleman said, you know, I teach the same thing to 100,000 people, but only 1% actually reach what they're capable of reaching. And he says, they all do the same thing. They're following the right steps, but some of them, it just doesn't come. And I never could understand why. And Master Shah said, it's very simple. It's spiritual virtue and spiritual debt. Those that are unable to get above water, they have spiritual debt. They have karma. And it's inhibiting them from moving forward. The ten das, the activation of the ten das through our thoughts, through our words, through our actions, is what releases the spiritual debts. It brings into our life virtue, and that virtue is what creates a shifting of the conditions that opens our light, Daguang Ming, the greatest light, and it opens the path to a far happier life. So I'm going to read from this book, as I will, for the first of the seven das, since that's what Master Shah's covered in here. <clears throat> and what Master Shah did to help us to have a deeper uh, depth of comprehension and an appreciation of the value of these, he gave it to us in the form of a mantra. And he chanted the ten das with a mantra. And each of the das have four lines. One of them has five, but we'll say four. And uh, I have, if you go back to the previous teachings, the last three days, Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da uh, Tzu Bei, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, you'll hear those mantras. I will repeat that today nor towards the end because I put all four of them together. But um, I will now give you the, the four lines for Da Guang Ming. What does it do? What's its purpose? What's its value? What's its power and significance? <clears throat> so Guang means light. This is on page 98 of the Soul Over Matter book, page 98. Guang means light. Ming, M-I-N-G, means transparency. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, uh, Master Uma. Welcome also to 
uh, Slu Latouche. Um, welcome, Mike Felt. Welcome, Lotsia. And if anybody has arrived and I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome, Larissa. So, Dagwang Min means the greatest light and transparency. Now, oh, isn't that interesting? And transparency. When I taught on Da Ai on Monday, what was the fourth line in Da Ai? Yi shi da ai, wu qiao jian ai, rong hua zai nang, xin xing sheng ming, M-I-N-G, xin xing sheng ming. Clear the heart and make it transparent to reach enlightenment. So when we offer the greatest love, we are also bringing ourselves into a place of transparency where the light that is already present within starts shining out naturally. Okay, The same thing is mentioned here in Da Guang Ming, the greatest light and transparency. Okay, <clears throat> So the four phrases, Si, Si Da Guang Ming, Wu, wu Zai, Dao Guang Zhong, Dao Guang Zai Wu Zhong, Tong Ti To Ming. Okay, I'll repeat those, don't worry. This again, again is Mandarin Chinese. No one at all is expected to, to catch on right away. But I'm teaching what Master Shaw put in his book, okay? So he, he explains. Si, si Da Guang Ming. Si means the four or fourth of the greatest Da's, the greatest light. Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong. Wo means I. Zai means uh, he. Be at. Dai mean, zai means be at. Dao is the source and the creator. Guang means light. Wo Zai Dao Guang means I am within Dao source light. I am within Dao source light. Everybody repeat. I am am within Dao Source Light. I am within Dao Source Light. You're within it like a channel. Okay? And this is not something you have to try to be. It's already you're in the channel of Dao Source Light. So the third line sounds the same, slightly different. Dao Guang Zai Wo Zhong. So I'll repeat the first three. Si da guang ming, wo zai dao guang zhong, dao guang zai wo zhong. And I think by now maybe Kristen has posted these four verses. So again, check Kristen Rojas's chat box. She may have posted these by now. <clears throat> so dao guang zai wo zhong, what does it mean? And it means dao source light is within me. I am within Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is within me. I am within the channel of Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is already inside me. We are not... Uh, when we say the word awakening, what does that mean? That means we are literally cracking open and revealing the light. You ever see a photograph or a picture or artist depiction or somebody is opening up their chest and light is coming out. That's a very real example of what Dagwang Min means. That's a very real example of awakening our to our original soul and its journey. Awakening to our purpose of being here. So what does it mean to uh, employ the fourth of the ten greatest qualities in our life? This mantra is not so much about doing something outside of yourself. This mantra is about recognition of the Tao Source Light that is always around you and the Tao Source Light that is within you. It is about going within, connecting to your Source. Everybody has a different name for the source. Some say God, some say Allah, some say Buddha, some say Jesus. Some say Creator, some say Tao, some say Source. It doesn't matter what the label is. The Creator of all life is the same for each of us regardless of the name. 
What matters is that we go within to attune to it. So the fourth of the ten das, Da Guang Ming, is about how do we go within so that our light shines. Because when we walk outside, if we have went within, opened our light, connected to the Source Creator, when we go outside, who do you think sees that? First, the first that sees it is all the beings of light walking around outside that you don't see. <clears throat> the second that sees it is all the birds and the trees and the dogs and the cats. The third that sees it is the other human beings. The ones that can see it are the ones that are awakened enough to see it. You ever been in a very happy place? You're shining your light and somebody else uh, that you may or may not know all of a sudden becomes very irritated? Have you ever been in that kind of a condition where you bring great light and it just irritates someone? It could be a cousin, it could be some co-worker. You keep trying to bring that great light and they just become irritated. Why? Because your light is rattling whatever um, spiritual darkness is happening with them. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It just means that they need to find that light also. So that's where you employ this, the third of the ten das. You cannot be irritated with that people, those people that are irritated because you bring your light. You must show compassion. You must show forgiveness and love for those people. Give them an opportunity to also experience the greatest light, the Da Guang Ming. <clears throat> the fourth line, Tong Ti Tong Ming. So I'll repeat the four lines. Zi Da Guang Ming, Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong, Dao Guang Zai Wo Zhong, Tong Ti Tong Ming. So when Master Shah received these ten das, he also received the um, the, ver the uh, uh, music. I mean, he, you know, he he's not a musician, but he received the tones, he received the music, and he simply chanted it out. And this is exactly how he received it. So what does that mean? The fourth line. <coughs> Dao Guang Zai Wo Zhong. We know means Dao Source Light is within me. Tong Ti, Tong Ming. Tong means whole, whole, as in wholeness, oneness. Ti means body. Tong Ming means transparent. There it is again, transparent. So Tong Ti, Tong Ming means the whole body is transparent. The four lines together See if he's listed these four lines together means the fourth of the ten da uh, qualities is da guang ming dao source light is inside me i am in dao source light the whole body is transparent now we will chant and the correct order. I will first chant in Mandarin Chinese five, six, seven, eight times so you can start to get used to the mantra and the flow of the mantra. It's a little tongue tying because the second and third one reverse. But if you say it, I am inside Tao Source Light, Tao Source Light is inside me. I am inside Tao Source Light, Tao Source Light is inside me. Wo zai Dao Guang Zhong, Dao Guang Wai Zong Zhong. Okay? So I'll chant it a couple times. You'll get used to it eventually. But know that what's happening while we're chanting, you're getting massive purification. I want you to just listen and close your eyes because I will chant on your behalf to serve you. But close your eyes and receive the light. You are already surrounded by Tao Source Light. It is around you. It is inside you. Be with that as I chant to serve you with this fourth mantra. Zi da guang ming, wo zai dao wo guang, dao guang zai wo zhong, tong ti tong ming. 
自大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同体同名。自大光明，我在道我中。道光在我中，同体同名，自大光明。我在道光中，道光在我中，同体同名。自大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同体同名。Those with third eye may see some very extraordinary things. Continue to receive the blessings. 四大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同体同名。四大光明，我在道我中。道在我，啊，道光在我中，同体同名。And now English, the fourth of the ten da qualities. I am inside Dao Source Light. Dao Source Light is inside me. Whole body is transparent. The fourth of the ten da qualities. I am inside Dao Source Light. Dao Source Light is inside me. Whole body is transparent. The fourth of the ten da qualities. I am inside Dao Source Light. Dao Source Light is inside me. Whole body is transparent. And now back to the Mandarin Chinese. Now try to chant along with me. I'll go a little bit slower, and try to pronounce and chant along with me. But don't get too much in your brain. Stay in your heart. 四大光明，我在道光中，道光在我中，同体同名。四大光明。道光在我中，道呃，同道光在我中，同体同名，自大光明。道光在我中<咳>。I said I did it wrong. Sorry. 此大光明，我在道光中。道光在我中，同体同。So now let's do a practice 
to bring more light into our body. So sit up straight. I'm going to do soul power. <clears throat> Place your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Close your eyes and let's connect to the soul of Da Guang Ming. And if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear the soul of the mantra of Da Guang Ming, the soul of Tao Light is inside of me. I am inside of Tao Light. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please bless me to further awaken to this truth? Could you please help me to release the blockages that inhibit me from radiating the greatest light? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we do a forgiveness practice. Continue to repeat. Dear the Divine, my beloved Creator, all humanity, all souls and all universes, please forgive me if I have ever offered any inappropriate, harmful thoughts, words, or actions that has moved you away from the greatest light. Please forgive me and my ancestors if we have made any mistakes that has brought any level of darkness to you. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. I invite all souls to chant with me at this time to enlighten their soul heart, mind and body. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul, continue to repeat, of Tao Source Light. Can you please bless my request? Make a request that you would like. You don't have to write it down, you just tell heaven what you would like. <clears throat> okay, and now you're going to repeat. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. Close your eyes. Visualize whatever you requested. Tao Source Light is surrounding it. Continue to repeat. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. The soul of my request is inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside the soul of my request. And now we'll say blesses. <clears throat> the soul of my request is blessed by Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light blesses the soul of my request. The soul of my request is blessed by Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light blesses the soul of my request. The soul of my request is blessed by Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light blesses the soul of my request. Now just visualize you, yourself, your entire being inside Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is inside of you, both from the inside and the outside. You are becoming a transparent being.
visualize the light that is already inside, making even wider your heart center, making even wider your spiritual channels, making even wider the pathway between your seven chakras. Visualize the existing light within becoming wider, brighter. I will chant the Mandarin Chinese mantra for you <coughs> while you visualize. Zi da guang ming dao guang wo zai dao guang zhong dao guang zai wo zhong tong ti tong ming zi da guang ming wo zai dao wo zhong Dao Guang Zai Wo Tong Tong Ti Tong Ming Zi Da Guang Ming Wo Zai Dao Wong Tong Dao Guang Zai Wo Tong Tong Ti Tong Ming Zi Da Guang Ming Wo Zai Dao Guang Tong Dao Guang Zai Wo Tong Tong Ti Tong Ming 好，好，好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I will chant all four verses for you together, from Da Ai, Da Quan Chu, Da Zi Bei to Da Guang Ming. <coughs> so continue to keep your eyes closed. Receive the blessings. Yi Shi Da Ai. Wu Tiao Jian Ai. Rong Hua. Zai nang xin qing shang ming Ar da kuan shu wo yuan liang ni Ni yuan liang wo xiang ai ping an he xie San da ci bei yuan ling zheng chang Fu wu zhong chang gong de wu liang Si da guang ming wo zai dao guang zhong Dao Guang Zai Wo Zhong Tong Ti Tong Ming Hao 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Divine Tao Source, for bringing this beautiful mantra to us. <coughs> if you'd like to hear the full Ten Da Mantra, Master Shah chants it. And to receive uh, Master Shah's chanting is a far superior and far higher blessing than I could ever offer you through this live stream. Kristen has posted that YouTube uh, on her chat box, so make sure you click on that and bookmark it. You listen to that 10 minutes a day, it's like drinking some caffeine. Uh, it will ramp you up and clear a lot of blockages. You have a bad day, come home from work, put that on. At the end of 10 minutes, you're going to feel a lot better. <coughs> So I'm going to go through some some of the comments here. Uh, welcome, Larissa. Welcome, Carol Whitney. Welcome, Cheryl Sutton. And welcome, Julie Abbott. Aloha, Ann Lee. And welcome also to uh, Kuipers, Kathy Kuipers. Welcome, Randy. Welcome, Nelson. And welcome, Michelle Blanding and Tiffany. Aloha. Welcome, Janet Blair, Lillian Kaur. 
I welcome Ago Renate. I welcome Tali. And welcome Robert Das. Aloha Jessica. <coughs> Funny Kathy. So when we work with uh, ten das, little by little, we can make a significant difference. A lot of it is honestly, think of it like this. How many of us, you know, know that if we do something consistently, we'll finally get it right? How many of us know that um, if we just think about it and don't actually write it down, put it on our forehead, tape it to the mirror and so forth, it probably won't get done. Okay, I'm one of those people. I'm guessing at least half of you are. And so this is why uh, you hear me repeating again and again. We bring the ten da's into our life. Thoughts, words, and actions. Think love in all your thoughts, words, and actions. Be forgiving. Uh, be compassionate for yourself as well. When we think about the light, the first three are outside of us. The fourth one is inside of us. Tao Source Light is inside me. I am inside Tao Source Light. This is not an acknowledgement. This is a reminder. This is not something that you have to try to figure out or learn. You have to learn algebra. You don't have to learn this. You have to remember it. It's a big difference to remember this truth than to learn something that you didn't know. This is a truth that you are in the process of remembering. Tao Source Light is already inside you. Tao Source Light is all around you. But if we are not conscious of it, uh, remember it, if we do not acknowledge it through the remembering process, through the acknowledgement process, then we always think it's outside of our reach. Oh, that's somebody else. I don't know how I could possibly be there. I don't know, you know, what else do I have to do to open my spiritual channels or, or what, what else can I do to, to solve all the problems in my world? Well, why not go inside and attune to what is already present, the Tao Source Light. And when you're inside, ask forgiveness. Offer love to all those outside of you. Offer compassion from your meditative chair. You can do the first three while you're in this Tao Source Light position. So this is a, a natural way to bring the Ten Da into our everyday life. Then when you're outside and you're in the world that tends to beat us over the head, you can be a little bit more loving. Uh, you can catch yourself when you think something negative. You say, nope, this is not going to happen today. I'm going to be compassionate. I'm going to ask forgiveness for that negative thought. I'm even going to ask forgiveness for any time I thought something negative like that about any soul. And I'm going to choose to not judge or criticize. Now, you might have to catch yourself doing that another 30 or 40 times just that week. But that is massive forward progress. Because each time you catch yourself, you are clearing the clouds and allowing the Tao Source Light within to radiate out. So it is truly uh, the highest wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us through these books. For those that came in a little late, I'm working out of the Soul Over Matter book. And it's geared towards finances, and everybody of course wants more finances. But remember as you read it, if you decide to get the book, to apply it to relationship, apply it to finances, apply it to your health, because the wisdom is is relevant for every area of your life, doesn't matter where the suffering is, okay? <clears throat> it's really a matter of being consistent with these basic qualities. You know, in Master Shah's books, you know, in this book alone, there is brilliant wisdom. There's about uh, 20 or 30 practices in here. And, the, and there's so many practices that sometimes it can be a little mind-boggling. The practices are excellent when we're sitting down and we're focused. But that represents about 10 to 30 minutes of most of our days. What happens to the other 23 and a half hours? We need to employ the ten da in our thoughts, our words, and our actions. That's what covers the other 23 and a half hours. When we sit down, relax, okay, then we tune in, we do the deeper spiritual practices aligned to the light, offer gratitude and love. So this is Master Shah Wisdom. I bow my head to my spiritual father. 
Without him, I certainly wouldn't be able to offer you this wisdom. Um, I am always continuing to grow. So, uh, any sharing? And to, uh, Monday, when I return, we're going to be covering Da Chenbe, the greatest humility. In the English language, humility is rarely used. It is so sad. Uh, everybody says, oh, he's got a big ego, big ego, ego this, ego that. Ego is overused. Humility is underused. The greatest humility. This da is the biggest blockage to the enlightenment path. Ego is the biggest blockage to the enlightenment path. So bringing about the greatest humility has so many facets to it. The, the facets to that are, are endless. And I'm probably only going to touch on a few of them because I am always learning uh, all the different facets of how ego or lack of humility can show up in our life. So I encourage you to tune in on Monday for that. Um, this weekend, for anybody that has uh, blockages with the relationship, I encourage you to tune in to Master Shah's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu. Kristen, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that link and posting, that'd be great. Um, there is uh, uh, the Golden Keys to Relationship is the name of the workshop this weekend here in Honolulu. Uh, and it's a full, you know, full weekend workshop. It is, uh, I think it's recorded, I'm not 100% on that. But uh, uh, Master Patrick, Master Orlena, Master Diane, some of the top uh, top, top, top teachers in the system. Uh, extraordinary power. And so I encourage you to go to that if you have any um, relationship issues. <clears throat> okay, so welcome Tiffany Filan. Sorry I came in a little late. I encourage you to watch from the beginning if you can. Um, welcome Andy Emmanuel. I appreciate those comments. Those are beautiful, Andy. Um, Vanessa says, Susan, chant with one of your calligraphies. Okay, Kathy, thank you for the comments. This is why we need to practice chanting constantly. You got it right, Larissa. Uh, Richie, good to see you, Richie. Welcome, Paul Quackenbush. And okay, so for those that just came in, uh, if you enjoyed a little bit of what you saw, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. You'll know when I go live in the future. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that Facebook Live event where you can learn more about this weekend's event here at the center. And let us offer our gratitude Thank you, the Divine Tao Source, our beloved Creator. Thank you, beloved Jesus, Mother Mary. Thank you, beloved Namo Mitofu, beloved Kuan Yin. All of the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints. Thank you to all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Thank you to the soul of the ten das and the mantras for the ten das. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. I will see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, everybody.